so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will cover problem c that was jet ius bias bracket sequence from round 819 so let's start with the problem so in the problem we have been given an integer n where n is less than or equal to the power of 5 and we have been given a balanced bracket sequence we have been given a balanced bracket sequence of size 2n so something like s1 s2 s3 so on up to s 2n we have been told to think of this string as a graph where every index represents a node and if the substring starting from let's say index i and ending at index j is balanced then there is a edge between index i and index j right so you can think of string as as a graph where every index is a node and if substring starting from index i and ending at index j is balanced then there is a edge between index i and index j so given this you have to find the number of connected components you have to find the number of connected components in the string or graph so that is the problem so how can we solve this how can we solve this so instead of counting the number of components we will first fix some number of components and then try to remove components from there so first we will fix some number of components and then try to remove components from that so how can we fix the number of components let's see that so we know our size is 2n so there are n opening brackets and there are n closing brackets uh, let's say my n is equal to 3 so we can have a string something like this opening closing opening opening closing closing so every opening bracket has a corresponding closing bracket for example this opening bracket we have the following closing bracket and if you see the substring then it will form a balanced bracket sequence that then that means every opening bracket will form a component with its closing bracket right uh, so let, let's call the component c1 similarly the following opening bracket will, will form a component with its closing bracket so it, let's call it c2 similarly we will get a component called c3 so every opening bracket will form a component so at most there will be at most there will be n components so i can i can initialize my answer with equal to n so i know that there there will be at most n components because every opening bracket will, will form a component so there, there can be at most n components right so now we know our fixed answer so now we have to remove some components from that why so because currently we are assuming that c1 c2 and c3 are independent that is there is no interaction between c1 c2 and c3 but that might not be the case there can be a case that c1 and c2 uh, fall in the same component right so the then the number of components will be less so now we know our max answer is n now we have to find the interconnections between the components and try to less the number of components so i can explain this using using the same example so it will be clearer for example let's take the same example n is equal to 3 first of all our answer is equal to n we have three components c1 c2 and c3 but that was when we were assuming that c1 c2 and c3 cannot interact but that can but, but that might not be the case for example if we think about the entire string if we think about the entire string this is also a balanced bracket sequence right for example from s1 to s6 it is a balanced bracket sequence so there will be a connection between first and last index right there will be a connection here So now, as you can see, C1 and C2 are not independent anymore. C1 is linked to C2. So now these two fall under the same component, right? So let's call this C4. This is also C4 now, right? So now components, number of components is not just three anymore. As now you have joined two more components, answer is less by one, right? So you can reduce the answer by one. Whenever two components will join, the answer will be less by one. So now my answer is equal to two, right? 
so i hope you are able to see what my point is so first your answer answer will be equal to n then we will try to find these interconnections and try to less the number of connections because first of all we had answer equal to 3 then we find a then we found a connection in c1 and c2 and now my answer is less by 1 my answer is equal to 2 now right so we have to find these the connection smart smartly in o of n time right because if you try to do it in brute force manner it will take you o of n square right so now we have to find this connection smartly in o of n time in o of n time so how can we do that so for that we will use a very famous trick right because every time you think about balanced bracket sequences the things that you need to think about are prefix sums right because these are very helpful every opening bracket will contribute a plus 1 and every closing bracket will contribute a minus 1 right so if you try to draw the draw the same example and see how can we find the inter connections using the prefix sum so if we draw, draw the same example let's say my n is equal to 3 then i can have opening closing opening opening closing closing so if we find the prefix sums I have plus one, minus one, plus one, plus one, minus one, minus one. My prefix sum is here is plus one. Here it is zero. Here it is plus one, plus two, one and zero. Right. So if we only think about opening brackets, if we only think about opening brackets, then we can see that these two opening brackets, these two opening brackets are on the same depth. Right. These are on the same depth. Right. Because both of them has prefix sum equal to one. So both of them are on the same depth. So if I have my this connection C one. and i have a connection c2 as these are on the same depth these opening brackets will also have a connection right so these two components c1 and c2 will have a connection so i can just say if you find two opening brackets if you find two opening brackets on same depth then that means that the components that were with those opening brackets will be connected so you can less your answer by 1 so you can say your answer will be less by 1 so you can do answer is equal to answer minus 1 right because you found a connection between two components so that is the solution so like just keep a counter of depth and every time you find two opening brackets with the same depth your answer will be less by 1 but that is not the entire solution because there can be a case where that might not work so now let's think about the corner case or like the general case right we can take some example like opening opening closing closing opening opening closing closing so first of all my answer is equal to 4 right because there are four opening brackets i have plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so my depth you can say depth is equal to how much 1 2 1 0 1 2 1 0 i have my depth equal to 1 here right i have a depth equal to 2 i don't uh, like uh, think about the closing brackets then i find a uh, opening bracket with depth equal to 1 i find a opening bracket with depth equal to 1 so now it will be it will have a connection with the following bracket so i can connect these two and i can update my answer equal to 3 but now if you iterate over 2 there is i also had a bracket with depth 2 previously but these two are not connected these two are not connected why so because there is a bracket with depth 1 that is like forcing it like that is not allowing it to interact with the previous bracket so there is a larger bracket with depth 1 that is forcing it to stop that is why it cannot interact with its previous bracket right so it is just not enough to like like uh, add the back the same depth you also have to think about the previous bracket right so to counter this we will keep a running depth we will keep a running depth for example let's say my depth is 0 so i will keep a 0 here i find depth 1 so i will update 1 i will find 2 i will update 2 similarly i found 1 so i will update 1 here right so every time i have i find a opening bracket i will compare its depth with its with the running depth right so if my depth that is like let's say depth of i is greater than equal to running depth then i will be able to interact with the previous bracket then i will be able to interact with the previous bracket so i can say answer is equal to answer minus 1 otherwise if my depth is more than running depth 
then that means there's a there's a bracket that that will stop me from interacting there's a bracket that will stop me from interacting so i can say answer won't change for example in the following case my running depth is how much my 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 running depth is 1 but my but, but, but my current depth is 2 so as my running depth is less than my current depth there is a bracket that will stop me from interacting with the previous bracket so the answer won't change right because i won't be able to form a connection anymore right so that is the entire solution so if i try the entire solution iterate over the whole string first of all fix answer equal to n every time you find a opening bracket increase your depth right depth plus plus and check if running depth is greater than equal to current depth if it is answer is equal to answer minus 1 otherwise nothing and whenever you find a opening bracket you also have to update your running depth so update your running depth equal to the current depth equal to depth of i and if you find a closing bracket you don't do anything you just decrease your depth if you find a closing bracket just do depth minus minus right so everything that that you need to do is with opening brackets every time you find a closing bracket you just like remove your depth and if you want to see the code for this uh here is the code so i have my integer n i have my string s Uh, I define my answer is equal to n. My current is equal to my current depth, and my have is equal to running depth. So I will iterate over the whole string, and whenever I find a opening bracket, I will update my current depth, and I will check if my current depth is less than equal to my running depth. If it is, I will update my answer uh, as a minus one, right? And I will update my running depth as well. Have is equal to current. Uh, otherwise, if it is a closing bracket, I will I will just update my current depth. and i will just do a minus one in my, in my current depth right so in the end i can just print out my answer and that will be enough so that is the solution and if you guys have a doubt feel free to ask me in the comments or join my discord server i will be more than happy to answer your doubts there so that is it for this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye Also if you guys don't know continue to school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over 6 months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity Also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. Uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies, and you can land a job at those companies yourselves. Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that yeah, I'm not even coding at all, I'm not even fresh, I'm not even completely new. The course is over six months long, and they will teach you from scratch. so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah you know be sure to sign up for this and i will see you in the next video bye bye